In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add collectibles like coins to your Godot game. The first thing we're going to do is add an event controller if you don't already have one. So we're going to come down here, wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put mine in scripts. So I'm going to right click, create new, and then script, and we're going to call it event controller. The only thing we're going to need to add to it for this tutorial is this signal, coin collected with a value of int. We're going to add another script, and we're going to call this one game controller. The next thing we need to do is add these two scripts to our auto load. So go to project, project settings, click on auto load, and you can see I already have my event controller added, but we need to add the game controller too. So that's in the scripts folder, game controller, and then it's going to be called game controller. We can click add on that, and then we can close this. In our game controller script, we're just going to keep track of the total coins the player has. We're going to set as a default int and equal to zero, and we're going to have a single function for coin collected. It's going to be passed a value of int. It's going to add the value that's passed in to whatever the current total coins are, and then it's going to emit the signal that we created, coin collected, and pass along the total coins. So it's going to call this signal. The next thing we want to do is create a coin that we can collect. So let's add a new scene. It's going to be a 2D scene, and we're going to call it coin. And then we're going to add an animated sprite. We're going to add a area 2D. And then to the area 2D, we're going to add a collision shape 2D. So for the animated sprite, I have a coin.png sprite sheet here. So what I'm going to do is make sure animated sprite is selected. I'm going to come over to animations. Sprite frames, new sprite frames, and then click on it. I'm just going to call this spin. I'm going to have it auto play and I'm going to have it loop. Then I'm going to click on the sprite sheet here and I'm going to find my coin sprite sheet. And mine is one vertical and five across. We can zoom in and then just select all these. Then we can save that. And I'm going to put this in collectibles, and scenes. The next thing I want to do is go to 2D here and zoom in on our coin. And we're going to add a collision shape. So click on collision shape, and I'm just going to make mine a circle. We'll save that. And we want to add a script to our coin scene. So click attach script, and then we're going to click on here, and we're going to save it in the scripts folder. So it's going to be collectibles slash scripts. Next, let's click on the area 2D. We're going to go to node and we're going to add a body entered signal. And we're going to attach to our coin scripts. Here in our coin script, we are creating an export variable for the value of the coin. For this example, we're just setting it to 1. And then in the on area 2D body entered, we're checking if the body that entered is the player. And then if it is, we're calling the game controller.coin collected function. And then we are calling self.qfree, which will remove the coin from the scene. And in the coin collected function, we're passing the value that we created up here. So in game controller, it's calling this function coin collected. If you have different styles or different value coins, you could easily duplicate this whole scene and then just change the value of that coin to whatever you wanted. So then you could have something similar to in Zelda where we have different color rupees. One last thing to note in this file is you just need to, in your player script, make sure you have set a class name of player capital P. And the last thing we need to do is create a UI to display our coins that we currently have. So let's go to our world. And we are going to add a canvas layer. And then inside our canvas layer, let's add a control node. I'm going to call my control node coin UI. And then I'm going to save this as a scene. And then we can go into our coin UI scene. In our coin UI, we're going to add two nodes. We're going to add a texture rect. And then we're going to also add a label. Since I only have the sprite sheet for the coin, what I'm going to do is make sure texture rect is selected, come over to inspector, and then I'm just going to drag the coin.png sprite sheet over to the texture. Ideally, you would have a coin icon that you could use here, but for this example, I'm just going to work with what I have. We're going to, on the expand mode, we're going to change to ignore size. And then the stretch mode, we're going to make tile. And then if we come to the layout and transform, we are going to set it to 16 by 16. 
And then you can see that has hidden all but the single coin. For our label, we're just going to set it with a test string of zero just to start with. And then we can, we're going to center it. And then we'll come in here and we're going to resize a little bit. And then we're just going to drag it to somewhere right about there. And then what we can also do is change the color of our font. So if we go to, I believe it's theme overrides colors, and then check this, and yep, we can make that black. And then we're also going to go to font sizes. And we're going to check this, and let's try 22. So we can just recenter this somewhere where we kind of like it. And then we're actually going to click on the coin UI, and let's give some padding off the edges of the screen. So go to layout, transform, and for position, we'll just do 30 by 30. So that'll move it off the corners of the screen. Okay, and the last thing we need to do before we can test this is we need to add a script to our coin UI. So let's go ahead and click attach script. I'm gonna go up a directory and put it in the scripts folder. We have an on ready variable that is grabbing the this label. And then in our ready function, we are connecting to the coin collected signal. So if you remember, in event controller, we created a coin collected signal. In our game controller, when a coin is collected, it is emitting that signal, and then our coin UI is going to catch it. When it does, it is going to call on event coin collected, and all this function is doing is it's getting the value, and it is assigning it to label.txt, which is going to update this label text. And if you remember, by default, we just put zero, so it's going to change it to whatever this value is. And if you remember, we defined this value as an int, so we need to cast it as a string. So now let's go into one of our levels and we can start adding coins. So just drag this coin scene somewhere onto the screen and we're going to duplicate that. Duplicate it again, put a couple over here. Now we can save this and if we did everything correctly, this should work. So let's go ahead and test it out. So it looks like our coins are spinning, so that's working. And if we collect one, sure enough, our counter at the top left here goes to one and so on, and everything seems to be working. Well, I suppose.